Hello and welcome to another episode of Stacked. This time you don't see me, but you're seeing the HX Edit, which is the editing interface for the HX Stomp. Uh, previously, I made a small review on how good the HX Stomp can chainsaw, and now I want to have a closer look on the actual device. Um, because I really don't like the pedal itself to dial in, I use HX Edit. So, first of all, I think I'll dial in a couple of different sounds and then find out how it actually sounds. So, here we have the amps, and for this time, I won't use any IRs. I've loaded actually the Jens Bogren IRs onto this device, which by the way belongs to uh, Christian. And so, first of all, I'll dial in, well, metal sound. Uh, which metal sound do we want to have? Maybe, um, well, I like the Kali, the Messer Mark IV, so maybe this one. Double click. And now. Sounds awful. I think that's good. So, we have to... Don't need mids. We need this. We need drive. So and now we need. Basically, I'm dialing a V curve. Let's put a distortion in front of it. No, not the HM2. We come to this in a minute. Okay, no, that's... Ah, I see. Yay, let's do it again. I think it's a bit dull. Okay, it was the wrong microphone. Still think that it's a bit dull or meaty, so I would dial in uh, another EQ. Okay, I don't like this interface. Um, mid frequency. Uh, awesome. Low frequency. <laughs> I want to have the 400. Okay, Q, well, this, and now let's actually decrease some.
So I like the sound more with the EQ. I think it did a good job. I don't think the low cut is necessary, but well, let's leave it here. So a little bit 400 hertz reduced, a bit added 1.2K for more clarity. And this is an okay sound, I think. Not my best sound that I've ever dialed in, but for, well, basically me trying the HX Storm for the second time at all, it's uh, quite a good sound. First time was actually when I dialed in those two Netbera settings here that I don't show you now because I haven't connected the HX Storm to Christian's um, PayPass pedals HMTMZ, uh, TMC, and therefore it would sound like garbage. But I want to improve those and I think I'll do another video. So, how can you... Can you actually save it? Let's YouTube patch one. Is it saved yet? I hope. So let's toggle a different setting. And now let's dial in a chainsaw tone. We actually need um three spaces before. So here comes our amp. And for a chainsaw tone, well, why not use this one, but not with T75s. I prefer vintage 30s. Let's this and I prefer it with an SM57 very near. Don't need this much of a high cut. And well, okay. Let's find out how this sounds. Lots of treble. Remit. Okay, now this is a good crunch tune. Now let's add an HM2 distortion. Okay, maybe. Okay, and let's dial in the bass full. Now we have to be careful with the treble. Maybe this, let's try it out. <laughs> There's still this oomph that I don't like, so I'll do the same approach. Uh, parametric EQ, 400. And just... Reduce it to a couple dB. Actually, add a, a low cut, mm, not this high. So, so still not there yet. First of all, let's try another distortion and now, well, let's, nope, it's the Super OD, I think this is the Boss Super Overdrive. 
Well, can we actually make this? Can actually make it stereo. I don't know how though. Maybe. Ah, okay. Um, do I want it this way? Here. And now I want it to go back. <laughs> I don't have any favorites. We have some routing stuff. Nope. 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 I want the mixer. Ah, okay. Yes. Here? No, here. So now we have a parallel HM2. It's <laughs> actually not good sounding. Okay, anyways, uh, let's go with another dis uh, EQ here. I don't know. Nope, not the 10 band EQ. Nope, nope. Well, 12 maybe? No. Nope, we have to go with the parametric EQ. And. I want to increase the mid gap that I like at 220. Now let's increase the high peak a bit. So now high peak, let's go with 1K.
No, this sounds actually nice. Maybe I'll do some roll off. Or up to 11k. I think this is a nice chainsaw tone. I have no AB comparisons though, so I might come to another opinion when I would have the actual pedal in front of the HX stomp. But for now, I would definitely try this in a rehearsal and I might very well do. Because on the next Nightbreeder rehearsal, let's name it, I want to improve both our sounds because we aren't really satisfied. Uh, the last time I died in sounds it was during a pandemic and we weren't actually able to play much together so we basically had the sound and we went with it and it was okay. But for now this will do. Okay, so what do you think about my two sounds that I dealt in. What do you think about the HX Stomp in general? And what other different stuff do you want to see me do with the HX Stomp? Just write a comment down below in the comment section. Well, and with this set and without my face, but if you want to support me without seeing my face, check out the links in the description. And now, Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, may the force be with you and have a nice day.